everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so last time we had learned no, learned actually we saw and we coded out the balloon buster game part one so what was it in the part one is we created a sprite we gave the animation we scaled it there, and we even put a functionality that if we press in the space key the arrow is going to move towards the sprite then we learned about some characteristics of the animation. We learned about pen tool, vertical mirror pen, rectangle selection, and cropping the sprite. So in today's video, we're gonna do something very, very, and really unique, and you know, everything different. So over here, in today's video, we're gonna spawn the balloons after a regular interval of time, and after that, we are even gonna, you know, put a functionality that if the arrow is touching the balloon, then the balloon is going to burst off. And then we'll even put one more thing that we can control the arrow by ourselves. So I have done some things. And we'll do some things right over here. So before some things I did. Let's just get started. And before we get started, I need to erase off some code. Because we're going to do everything together, right? So just a minute. I'll just erase all of the code. Yes, so today we're gonna start with spawning the balloons first. So I've written a good amount of code, a six line code for each or seven line. So let's just read that code first. So function spawn red balloon. If bold or frame count percent 500 is equal to equal to equal to zero. We gonna make the sprite at that time. Meaning, if the frame count is 500 to 0, we gonna make the sprite. And one more thing, we've given the velocity x also. Now, you must be wondering why minus? Because we have to move it towards the left and not towards the right. Because in arrow, we have to move it towards the right, if you say. So, now let's just get started with writing some code because. You know what? Right? I need to write some code with you people. So let's just get started. Function cluster balloon. Yeah, I know it's a bit awkward name, but it's fine. I hope so. Sorry. And if well that frame can percent now what percent you wanna give us a three hundred. Is equal 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 to zero. Then another set of brackets, and you write war plus the balloon is equal to creates right there. Right now, and so now we write you want this quite a bit bit up. So a hundred and ten and sixty, sixty comma ten comma ten. And then we write cluster group, uh, cluster balloon, dot set animation. I don't know what's an animation at home. We write it off. Dot set animation. And now do this cluster balloon over here. So let's put this in. And let's just now write cluster balloon dot scale is equal to. You're gonna scale it a bit small, so 0 0.3 must be good fact. And now let's just give it some velocity. I've given the same velocity to all balloons, but if you want to make it more challenging, you can change the velocity. But yeah, remember, it should be always in the minus state only. You can put minus 4, minus 9, whatever you want. And now we are even gonna, you know, just a minute. Now we are even gonna. Call this thing or call this spawn cluster balloon in a function draw because if you're not spawning that, then or no, this functionality won't work. Let's just see, let's just hope for the best. You'll see the cluster balloon over here, most likely to be. Hmm, yeah, green balloon. Yeah, we got a cluster balloon perfect. So now I have written some code to you know control the arrow so now the code is first code was if key went down space 
error to velocity x is equal to 1. So it means that when you're switching the space key, uh, no, sorry, I said wrong, right? If you're pressing the space key, then the arrow's velocity x, meaning it's going to go to the right at a very low speed, of course, because you only get 1 right now. Then if key down up, arrow to velocity y is equal to minus 1. So this means that if for key down and up, meaning if you're pressing the up key, then the arrow is going to go up in a very slow speed, obviously. And same thing for the down key. If you're pressing the down key, the down arrow goes. Look, this is the down key, this is the up key. And stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, so this is how it looks right now. So now we surely need to put that, um, you know, if the arrow is touching the balloons, balloons are going to burst out. So for this is a bit lengthy process, so what you're going to write over here is, you're going to make groups. Now how do you make groups? Like this. For, which is this group? Red balloon group. So you can put a red Sorry, yeah, red balloon group dot, no, not that. Is it called a create group? Sorry, create group and close it off. Same thing over here for, I'm not gonna, you know, write that much. Just gonna copy paste it. And then you will write over here for red balloon, make it a cluster balloon. Then, uh, you know, pink balloon, and again, a green balloon. I hope that this looks good right now, and I hope that this works right now. So, these are the four groups, and now we're gonna add something in all groups. We're gonna add, I'll show you, we're gonna add red balloon in all groups. So, you wanna write red balloon group dot add red balloon close it off then you want to write same thing over here so but you know changing it to cluster to cluster I mean I'll show you cluster balloon dot add the cluster balloon yeah cluster balloon group huh cluster balloon group Control V, pink balloon, group, that add, mm, pink balloon, same thing over here, add the green balloon and the green balloon group. Mm -hmm. Done. I hope so this works, but not yet, we need to put one more line of code in it, like, if, Arrow that is touching you now this group, meaning the red balloon group, balloon group, then remember like red balloon group that is dry, or yeah, you're gonna put that only red balloon group dot destroy. Sorry. Now, if you don't know, it's always over here. Destroy each, and then you're done. Now, let's see. I hope so, it works. Hmm. I mean, the red balloon is going to come a bit down, so I'm ready to go down. All ready to fire up. Where are you, red balloon? Come down. Yeah, yeah, yes, we did it! So now the red balloon I just saw, it just went away. So we're going to do the same thing with the pink, green, and the cluster balloon. So let's just get it. Arrow that is touching the cluster balloon. Yeah, I know. The Y is going to come because I don't know why. Cluster balloon group that is for each. Another time, another like this. Now, pink one, we're again, pink one, then over here is going to be a green one, and then we're done with this game. 
I'm very excited. Ho <laughs> Hmm, let's just see now. I'm ready for the green building group right now. Just gonna just come and bye bye. Here you go. I'm now I'm waiting for the upper guy. Yeah, ta da. Waiting for the another green group. Then now the red will come down and I'm ready. Now I fire myself. Yes. And this is the balloon basher game. I hope so. You like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and share this video with your family and friends. And yeah, after you do all of this, please send me the code link in the comment below. So this was today's video. Meet you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.